Mortal Kombat 1 just got a new update patch and the game feels amazing to play right now. Are you serious right now, bro? I know, Brace is done being a negative Nancy and he finally put out a video saying good things about the game. No, but for real, I just like to come on here and speak the truth. And my truth right now is that you guys bullied the NRS devs into actually working on the game. And it worked, they did work on the game to give us good changes, I mean, all it cost them was a bit of their sanity. Because I was watching the most recent combat cast and these guys do not look happy at all. They even turn off the chat to not get bullied by the community, so good job you guys. In today's video, we'll be going over 10 new changes that I and most of the community love about the most recent patch. The MK1 Season 5 update to spread some positivity. Things like the new photo mode poses, new stages that we have, the new BBC combo with Armark and many more. So sit back, relax, grab, grab some, some snacks, snacks and enjoy the video. Hi, I'm just Braces and before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this video is sponsored by nobody. So please drop a like on the video. Thanks. So the first good thing I like about this season is that we got new skins of characters in their previous 3D era versions. We have Deception Shao Kahn, which is probably the best Shao skin. And I think every Shao main should get this skin. We also got Deadly Alliance Quan Chi and Shang Tsung along with MK11 Sindel will also be dropping soon according to rumors and leaks. Someone said that this skin makes Shang Tsung look like Bobby Garrett Ferguson from regular show. And I found it so funny cause the resemblance is there. Personally, I think the beard looks weird. Shang Tsung in the new timeline is too babyface to have a beard. Oh, also, we'll be getting the Dark Raiden skin from MK11. And what's even better with this is that this skin is free. The rest are also cheaper than usual at only 500 Dragon Crystals. But for the Raiden skin, all you have to do is beat him in the final invasions battle as he's the season's invader. Which brings me to the next point. Season 5 of Invasions had a lot of changes which make the game mode playable and a bit of fun at least. And some of these additions are like new fight challenges where you have to kill a cyborg in one combo. There's a new Break the Targets minigame which kinda plays like Smash. Some of the enemy invaders are now replaced with the fusion characters from the final chapter of the story mode like Cyber Smoke, Tang Lao, Kanya, John Khan, Scorp Lao. Which is an amazing thing to do with these characters and RS knife you could only just make them playable. In a new separate game mode of course where stats don't count so it doesn't get sweaty and it remains a goofy game mode just for laughs. Another solid change to invasions is that some nodes will be skippable so if some survival game is giving you trouble you can just skip it and go straight to fighting. Personally, I just chose Peacemaker's force fields to tank most of the projectile based survival games. It's so cheesy and you can in fact meter ban the force field as many times as you want because you have infinite meter in the survival mode. I think you guys will also agree with me when I say that this season's invasion skins are so much better. Especially if you compare them to the season 4 invasion skins, which most of us definitely skipped on. <laughs> Brother, uh, what's that? This next one's a bit of a spoiler, but the other great thing about this update is that Harumi's face model has been confirmed. This means the story expansion is in the kitchen. That's probably when she'll drop after we get the story expansion. For all the uncultured imposters who don't know Harumi, you are gay. I hear that Kwai Liang is now married. Harumi is just as fierce as he is. Harumi is Scorpion's wife, and she's appeared in Kuei Liang's Tower Ending. She's also in the Season 1 Scorpion's Invasion Story, and as well as the first live action Mortal Kombat movie. So she's a big deal for the die hard MK fans. It's just a shame that her first ever appearance in Mortal Kombat will be as a cameo character. It's not confirmed yet, but there's speculations. Bro, this game has so many badass female characters that I feel will be so fun to play as. Let's just hope and pray that she'll be playable when she releases. Gents, before you ask, her Instagram is at g one Christianera. You're welcome. Please like the video now.
another amazing thing we got with this update is the tea house yeah we got some new unlockable stages and so far i only know of the tea house version in the rain i know mk1 is a 2d fighting game but it's still nice to have some novelty in the stages this update also came with armak and armak gave us a new funny tech that's similar to the bbc combo from geras this move where one of his souls flips you upside down and the game physics make the clothes go down as well <laughs> I trust the MK community to be creative with this one. It has so much potential for memes. To add on to the list, the Season 5 update patch brought back an OG character, Movado, the wannabe Nick Klaus from MK Deadly Alliance. They made his moves so cool, I can already see his Spider-Man mod dropping as soon as he releases. They even remastered his old fatality and made it not corny in MK1 as it was in Deadly Alliance. Once again, Thank you for caring about the OGs, NRS. This season has so much proof that they listen. We made so many memes about maskless armor looking weird. And on his debut, they gave him a mask. My favorite armor gear is the Cross Mask armor, which you can unlock at level 20 of his character mastery. This mask goes really hard. It makes him look like some overpowered Elden Ring boss in the winning poses. I'd love to hear what your favorite Armak skin or gear is, so share your opinion down in the comments. Also, another change that the MK community has complained about since Injustice 2 and MK11 has finally been implemented this season, and it's that guest player 2 can finally share player 1 skins. So now, when you unlock a skin, your friends and family can finally use the skin during versus mode. This has been one of the huge turn-offs to playing this game for the longest and I'm glad they listened and finally fixed it. I just hope they also did the same with the brutalities. In my experience, player 2 has been unable to perform brutalities that player 1 has unlocked, which is so weird and made us fight for controllers all the time. The one other thing we need added to the game is the multiple skin slots that we had in MKX. So you can save some custom skins and just choose whichever from the character select screen instead of just randomizing. They even had nice pop culture references in the MKX character select screen. Like this one that happens when you select these specific jacks and during cage skins. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I know I'm supposed to be praising MK1 in this video, but bro, the all Mortal combat days were so good. You just had to be there. I also love how this update made the MK community so happy. Now when I scroll through the subreddit, all I see is positivity, new memes and reaction images dropping, new art, and just generally good vibes, which is why I even sat down and decided to make this video. And finally, I appreciate the fact that Netherrealm Studios is putting in effort to make this game not suck. The only thing holding them back, as I mentioned in the previous video, go watch it if you haven't, is their partnership with Warner Brothers. That's holding them back a lot, I feel like. I mean, there's endless good things I have to praise NRS for, like the Combat League skins are fire, Invasions is slowly getting better premium skins, King of the Hill is now crossplay enabled, some lower tier and lesser played characters were buffed and given new moves, like Scorpion has a new string, Geras has a new UI update, Riftile also got shown some love and got back his classic speed from MK2, and now he has a long range projectile. The high tier characters were nerfed, like Peacemaker can't pull off his double eagly anymore. Raiden mains, I'm sorry, but your storm cell got snuffed, so you're not safe anymore. All this, but for some reason, NRS refuses to touch their poster boy, Johnny Cage. Overall, it's a good patch and NRS is showing so much love to us, and I feel like they'd be doing so much more if they weren't held back by Warner Brothers. I know I joked about it in the intro, but don't be rude to the devs online or anyone, just don't be rude to strangers online. It's not nice. Be a nice person, it doesn't cost you anything. And that was all I had for you today. Remember to gently press the like button if you liked the video. Also, how do you feel about the season 5 update about Armor? Is it the best DLC yet? Is it the worst? I see that the community is conflicted and has a lot of divided opinions about Armor. Some say he's weak and needs a buff. Some say he's strong and needs enough, and some of us, like me, think he's in a good spot cause so many of his combos work mid-screen. Let me know your thoughts on Armak. 
Before I sign off, consider joining the channel and becoming a member. If you choose to become a member, you'll get extra perks like connecting and chatting with me on social media, getting to see RL videos of me, and it's only $1.99 a month. Is it $1.99 or $1 a month? So please join the channel, get some perks, and I'll appreciate the extra support. It'll help me get better gear, make higher quality videos, and hopefully even get a camera and start streaming soon. I'm also planning to do our members only giveaway when we get to 100 members. So please consider joining the channel. You'll be helping me so much and I'll love you forever. I'm feeling positive about this season and I appreciate their work. Let's just hope it's not like that two week Minecraft phase and that the game only goes up from here. Anyways, it's been a pleasure ranching at you guys. Have a wonderful week ahead and I'll see y'all in the next one. Ciao.